Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm testing the Keep Wet palette by Frisk. If you're new to acrylic paints, you will have noticed that the paint dries quickly once it's on the palette or on the canvas. With oil paints it's the opposite, it takes ages to dry. This means if you are using a normal palette, your unused paint goes to waste and quality acrylic paints are not cheap. One solution is to simply make your own stay wet palette. I didn't have any big plastic trays, so I used these small takeaway plastic trays. I filled them with a sponge and wet the sponge with water and added parchment paper. This solution works and my paint stayed wet for longer. The downside of this cheap solution though is that these trays are very small, so you are very limited to a small amount of paint and it's not easy to mix in such a small space. So I decided to buy a bigger palette and I found this one by Frisk on Amazon. It was about 12 pounds and as you can see it's much bigger and has much more space for the paint. The Keep Wet palette is supplied with 12 thin sheets, the membranes, and three Keep Wet papers which are thicker and absorbent. How to use it. Lay out your keep wet paper on the tray. Add water and make sure it's fully soaked. Drain the excess water. Add the membrane. It does crease a little. This is normal according to the instructions, so don't worry about it. I have added some colors I will be using to create some mixing charts, though I will not use much. Please note, don't add the colors too close to the edges, you will see why in the next scene.
As you can see, the paints are still very wet, but unfortunately, because I added some of them too close to the edge, some of them bled into the keep wet paper. The ultramarine blue looks like it has separated into blue and white. However, it does mix back into the blue and looks normal on paper. I tested this in my mixing charts. As you can see, the paints are still very wet and usable. As you can see, the paints are still very wet and usable. After two weeks, the paints are still wet and usable. Unfortunately, some paints have bled into the keep wet paper. The instruction recommends to get rid of the membrane sheet when it's not in use for more than two weeks and thoroughly soak the keep wet papers before storing the palette. Because I used all three papers by accident and added some colors too close to the edge, it took me a while to get my keep wet papers reasonably clean. I think this is a good palette to use and at about £12 not too expensive. You can buy additional packs of the membrane and keep wet papers, so I would recommend this if you are on a budget. Just bear in mind that the lid is not airtight, which means you have to be a bit careful if you want to carry it around. It's also a bit tricky to open and close. I hope you found this video useful. Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, Make sure to share it, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching. Bye!